My name's Silom. I'm a Senior Product Manager at BBC Research and Development. One of the great things about virtual reality and surrounding you completely, it can place somebody right at the heart of a story and it can play out around them, much like theatre of old or storytelling uh, of old. And I think that's a really great opportunity and an exciting one for broadcasters to think about how they might tell stories differently, where the person is very much a part of it and it's at a human scale. So one of the things that we've been doing at the BBC is looking at a range of different genres and how you might apply this surrounding uh, virtual technology uh, to the stories we would normally do. So we have documentary, current affairs, we have comedy, we have accompaniments for television programs, and all of those kind of activities, um, uh, uh, we're learning from them. You know, do these stories work? How do they resonate with our audience? We're putting them out to the audience. So we've done a season of virtual reality. We're trying to learn by giving and doing um, out to people who are practicing this and people who are consuming it just to learn and see what is the potential for the storytelling. Because for me personally, I think it has huge potential in marrying the traditions of games and environmental storytelling with the brilliance of television, radio, and online broadcasting we've had. Uh, the question of how long before everyone has a headset can be answered quite quickly. Many, many people have access to smart devices, and smart devices, the incredible screens and processing power that increases year on year, are actually the basis of most of the modern headsets. That's where they came from. It's how this renaissance has, has occurred. With the smartphone adapters that the main providers are, are supplying, I think we'll see many more people with the device in their pocket have the option to suddenly step into these new worlds. And then as that increases over time and the devices get capable of producing content, whether that's 360 video with back-to-back -back hemispherical cameras, or whether it's actually people getting the more advanced headsets on the console and PC and being able to afford, afford them, uh, and then learning how to make virtual reality with, with game engines like Unity and Unreal being so accessible. I think the world and possibility and the democratization of general technology is going to facilitate more people having the chance and the devices are going to be in our pockets. The thing that VR gives is more than just the gaming kind of sector where it grew up or the you know, 360 video, the experiential GoPro uh, side of kind of the new perspectives on our world. Actually, that many other, and, and many other industries are going to benefit from the ability to put someone in a place, whether that is your, uh, your high street uh, retailer for holidays or homes and real estate, being able to place you in the property or the hotel or the resort um, in the future, through to training. Uh, people who have to go to extreme situations, people who are learning, or practicing um, can have a whole range of new, very real uh, experiences in virtual reality that might you know, help them learn, help them prepare. And in fact, one of the best uses of it is just to get away from it all and meditate.